both from Team Honeycrack. We've got Bumble Blitz in the pink corner and Energizer in the blue. These Five, bots have been four, absolutely dominant three, all two, day. Bumble Blitz one, is a beautiful five, overhead attack robots, robot, five. and Energizer is the scariest robot I have ever seen built by Team <laughs> Honeycrack. It is absolutely vicious. Two of my favorite robots so far today fighting, at least the scariest robot so far today fighting. Uh, you see the, the two smaller halves fighting each other, the two bigger halves fighting each other. Ow. That weapon on Energizer is a, terrifying. A lot of power in there, and it just keeps going and going and going. Zoe. Bumble Blitz has pushed Energizer up against the rail and is now taking out the other half. Yeah, taking out the two, the two uh, multi-bot configurations. Really smart idea. Listen to that weapon spin up to full speed as they attempt to vibrate off the wall. They don't want to use their unstick. But Not they in the might first minute to. of the fight, but they're yeah, they're probably going to end up having to. Ooh. Bumble Blitz getting stuck in its own forks there. They got to be careful. Here comes Energizer. Energizer's weapon is a hub motor. Energizer has to be careful bouncing around the box like this now. They don't have any more unsticks. If they get stuck again, that'll be the fight. Ooh, beautiful shot into the bottom plate by Bumble Blitz. It didn't look like the weapon was spinning at that point, though. Uh, no, that is the shot that Bumble Blitz wants, and they were unable to take advantage of it. There is no spin in that weapon. Yeah, Bumble Blitz also running a hub-style uh, spinner. That motor is directly mounted to it, you can see there, but there's no action coming from that weapon at all. Um, Energizer very well could have a weapon, but since they're upside down, they're not attempting to spin it. One of the hardest parts of designing a hammer saw style weapon is keeping the saw spinning. It's in a very uh, difficult spot, very exposed, and you're just whacking it into things. Keeping it spinning is really difficult, and, and that's sort of what separates the best of the best in the hammer saw world. But it seems like maybe Bumble Blitz will pull it out here, and they've got the weapon spinning yeah, again. Yeah, weapon's back. And they, ooh. Oh, ho. Spending that time going after the multi, which is probably smart. The multi is their plan for self-writing. Nice lift there from the little bot. <laughs> what a cacophony of robots here piled on top of each other in the corner. Everyone's yellow. It's hard to tell who's who. <laughs> yeah, it is fun putting all of the Honeycrack team together. You just have that beautiful, bright color scheme. I wonder how many times they've practiced this fight in, uh, in their test box. That's the beautiful thing about this team. They have that full-size test box back at their school. They are able to do a full testing on all of these bots. And apparently Bumble Blitz has been in that test box, like, nonstop for the past month, really trying to get this bot dialed in. Seems to be working out for them. Yeah, it does seem like Bumble Blitz is going to pull this out. I think it's going to go to the judges, but... You know, Energizer has just been unable to get much going in this fight. Absolutely. As Bumblebush just continues to play with the minibots. <laughs> All right, that's the match. It's going to be going to the judges. Bumble Blitz took that Honeycrack fight. Um, sending Energizer home. Congratulations to Liam King and Bumble Blitz for a phenomenal performance against Team Captain Zoe and Energizer.